Good morning. Today is Thursday. It's October 26th and it's day five. Um, okay. Today is dressed like a superhero day. And I think I forgot to tell you all that, but tomorrow, tomorrow's pajama day. So I'm really hoping that, um, you show up wearing your pajamas and then Monday is a regular day. Tuesday, we have a ton of Halloween activities. Um, and so candy grams will get delivered on Monday or Tuesday, sorry, during pack time. There'll be a costume contest at lunch. Um, we've got some fun things planned. There's a big dance, um, in the afternoon in the gym, and that's going to be kicked off by a special performance by the, uh, hip hop club or the dance club. So I'm super excited about all that. Uh, today, however, or sorry, tomorrow as well, there's picture retakes. So if you're doing pictures and you didn't like yours, um, you can get those retaken. Uh, lunch today, we've got granny gang and two or three and candy grounds will continue to be sold outside the office. And there's nothing after school today. And I'll tell you why, because it's the second round of parent teacher conferences. So we are super grateful for everyone who showed up yesterday and today's the last day of that. So, uh, no clubs today after school. Also, um, I just want to go through a couple of things. So pack time expectations. It seems to me that there's a little bit of confusion over what pack time is all about. Pack time really at the heart of it is, um, a reading block. It's, it's 20 minutes for you to settle down after lunch, um, in a way that is actually contribute, contributing to your learning. So the expectation that is everybody is in their class when the bell rings, that you are finished eating your lunch, um, so you're not bringing food in with you. If you're in grade nine specifically, there should be no food in pack time. Um, especially if you've been off campus, like we said a hard no to that as part of your, your agreement with going off campus. Um, in addition, uh, you shouldn't have to use the washroom. You shouldn't need to fill up your water bottle. You've got time at lunch to do all of those things. It doesn't happen during pack time. Um, it's really important that everybody is sitting and reading and quiet reading actually makes you a better reader. Um, it does lots of things. In addition, only one person gets to go and do book exchange at a time. So that is a one person from your class. Cause if everybody sends one person at a time, that's 12 or 13 people in the library at a time. And that's more than enough browsing through books. Once that person's back, your teacher can send another person, but it's one at a time. If you are feeling like you need to go do a book exchange because you've run out, talk to your language arts teachers and they can help facilitate that as well. That's all I have for today. Y'all I love you. Let's have a fantastic day of learning.